Hello and good evening. Um, welcome to my weekly live. My name is Emma Goddard um, and you can find me at coastalcrafter.com. I hope you are all doing well. Um, what have you been up to this week? Anything exciting? Um, let me um, just check we are live in the right places. Um, this evening I thought I would play, I have been making, I made um, a card, or I was playing with this, um, for my card and a cuppa, and then at my team, um, gathering that we had, and I have loved using it, and so I thought I would continue making some projects with just my type, um, so, um, <laughs> it says I slept earlier. Are you ready? If you had a sleep and you're ready, that's wonderful. Um, so I thought, yeah, we'd carry on making some cards with that. There is no dies, so there'll be a little bit of fussy cutting, I imagine. Um, and um, good evening. Hello, hello. How are you all doing? Um, so what is news? Um, as demonstrators, we get a sneaky peek of the mini um, catalogue that is coming out from um, September to December. We get to see that on Wednesday next week, which is exciting. Um, and then we get to pre-order from that mini catalogue in August. So um, if um, you would like one of those mini catalogs, oh, says fussy cutting, oh dear. If you'd like a mini catalogue, um, then please feel to reach out to me. Um, if you've ordered from me recently, um, then one will be coming out to you anyway. Um, you will be already on my list. Um, I have my paper florist class next weekend. Kits have now closed. Um, but if you would like to join us for that class um, and you've got the dies um, and you would like to join us for that class, then there's online only option is still open for booking. Um, and that is on my website, coastalcrafter.com. And then you can just click on the button that says classes. So it will take you there to the details. Um, I have got an August class coming up, but I haven't scheduled that. I haven't published that on my website yet. Um, but that will be coming out soon. So um, that is all the bits and bobs. And of course, we've got bonus days at the moment. So if you order £45 of product, you will get £4.50 um, in a coupon to redeem in August. Um, so um, that is the current kind of offer at the moment. Um, Paul says, looking forward to the club. Um, and the good news with this class, Paul, is there's dyes and we won't be fussy cutting hundreds of leaves. <laughs> we'll just be dye cutting hundreds of leaves. Um, Claire says, I'm crocheting granny squares whilst watching. I love a bit of multitasking. Love a bit of multitasking. Right, let's get making. So um, I shall pop you down to see my desk, uh, which I have rather quickly tidied away i was stamping with blueberry bushel before we came on to this live so um that mat had been thrown away and i've just grabbed a fresh grid sheet for you all why is that not doing what i want it to do hmm. there we go there we go there we go um Pop that on there. Afternoon, Sandy. Um, so I had um, um <clears throat> I've, I've got one card in mind, which was kind of a case of an old card of mine, but a really nice technique, which is just um doing a little blending on the background. So we'll start with that one and then we'll see where see where the creativity takes us so i'm just gonna grab some white so this is a standalone stamp set um and it's got flowers and a cute little paper clip so cute rainbow uh little plant pot heart and then the little envelope and the flowers and obviously the typewriter is in there as well um so let's pick out some of these more background images i guess And we can, I think I will put them on to little blocks individually. 
Um, and that way we can stamp them where we want them. These blocks are a little bit big for the ones that I'm pulling out, but um, some of my blocks are in use. So, right, and a bit of heat embossing. So, by the way, I'm going to use the embossing buddy and my Versamark. So, my hut, we went round to my um, parents. At lunch and had a lovely roast dinner it was delicious um, and then um, my husband's traveling for work this week so he's headed off already this evening um, where he needs to be for tomorrow morning because he's got about a five hour drive ahead of him um, so it's a fairly um, relaxed well it's been kind of busy but also relaxing at the same time it's been a bit kind of it was lovely not having to think about food so it was very nice very nice um, so i'm just stamping these randomly i can see them but they are a little trickier on the eye for you to see but I can assure you I'm just doing it kind of mixy matchy mm, I might do a few more just further out from there and then um hello <laughs> again uh, and let's add some white embossing. Do you feel like the weekend's gone really fast this weekend? I am. Um, blink and feel like I've got to Sunday. It's, um... All right, let's heat this up. So we've just got some random, can you see where they are? I'm just going to heat those. I know, Jeanette, I feel like every weekend, it's suddenly, it's Sunday evening again, and it's like, my goodness, how do we get here again? It's crazy. Kids have broken up from school now, so um, we're in our summer holidays here in the UK. Um, so they don't go back till early September. Okay, so we've got all of those heat embossed, so they are white shiny, and we are going to, or I am going to, um, blend over the top with a little pool party. Um, just going to grab my brush. Uh, ah, hey Rita. How are you? Um, right. uh, so, a little bit of pool party on here. This is such a lovely layout. If you're ever stuck, a bit of pool party on some white embossed is <laughs> lovely. And then pop a image on the top and you're done. So, it just then magically makes that appear. And then you've got the lovely blend out into the background. So I'm just going to blend that out a bit further. Okay, I think you can 
can see all of them all right. I don't want it to be too heavy on the background, but happening and oh, my tissues have run out. There. So we've got our background and then we can then pick any colour to go over the top. Oh my pool party's got a bit of a inky mess on there. What colour shall we do this typewriter in? Literally any colour goes. So, um, what should we do? What should we do? Um, Orchid Oasis. We could do go uh, could go bright yellow. What do we fancy? Let's do, should we do Orchid Oasis? I haven't used that in a while. <laughs> Landed. Uh, Orchid Oasis. I'm not worried about the desk. I'm more worried about me putting my, oh, green would be lovely. I was too quick. Let me let me um let me stamp some. Oh, they'd be fab in all sorts of colours, wouldn't they? What sort of green was it, Hazel? Was it? Let's see. Shaded spruce. Oh, lemon lolly. Loving these suggestions. <laughs> I didn't need to ask Joanna. <laughs> well, it was going to be gorgeous grey for Highland Heather. It was a tough call. Um, let's do uh, will lemon lolly be bright enough. Let's see. Lemon lolly. Oh, green looks good, isn't it? Just have a play with all the different colours. Uh, <clears throat> we had a Highland Heather suggestion as well. My Highland Heather needs re inking, I think. She, she said, uh, Joanna said she was going to say gorgeous grape, but she thought she'd be different. She'd go wild. And rather than choosing gorgeous grape, she'd choose Highland Heather. <laughs> uh, let's try and buy colours. Could compromise actually, because we could do the green and purple. That's quite good together, doesn't it? The green. Look at that old olive as well. They look nice. I like those. Um, let me just try a gorgeous grape. Oh, I didn't really clean that, but it's quite nice actually. It's got a bit of an old olive gorgeous grape mix. Whoops. It's a bit brighter. What do you reckon? I like the green. Green's quite nice. Purple. Um, I bet a lemon, a lucky um, parakeet party or granny apple would look lovely as well. Green. Um, I have got. Uh, let me come back. Let me do. Oh, now I can't decide. Let's go green. Let's go green. We'll keep the purple ones. Let's go green. It's just whether we go witch green. And let me just do for granny apple. I quite like 
the bright green. What do you reckon? I think the granny or the shaded spruce. Granny apple, I think. Shaded spruce is nice. Oh. <clears throat> go with a bit of a mix actually I wonder if we could over the top. Let's see. Let me pop that. See how that looks. <clears throat> I could kind of mix that together then. Have both. <laughs> now I've just cut the uh, shaded spruce apart. Uh, and then um, we could put that to one side, and then we want some flowers and a piece of paper so the paper comes with a little fold over and a straight piece and um let me do on here memento so can't take credit for this but um i saw the stamping through the catalog ladies make a card if you haven't don't follow their account follow their account it's very cool um they share lots of great stuff but they extended this paper out so i am going to do that just to make that a little longer because i want to be able to fit the flowers on the top so um you could make that like as long as the page couldn't you you could extend that out um as long as you want it or if you want a different sentiment to fit on there then um just make that a bit longer got flowers of course I'm going to stamp with the flowers because there's flowers in the set <laughs> why would I not and just go memento just for ease for the minute and we could do uh, let's put these in Moody Mauve and Moody Mauve, Granny Apple, and maybe um, Blackberry Bliss. So, for all of you who voted a gorgeous grape or Highland Heather. I've got all purples coming in now. Let's do this. Who has this? Did anyone purchase the stamp set in the stamp sale? Um, 
this is such a cool set it's one i looked over i looked over to start with i wasn't going to get it and then my mum purchased it and showed me that she had it. She didn't even have to make anything with it. She just went, look, I bought this sensor. And I went, oh, no, now I'm going to need to get it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was her fault that I bought it. Um, so, uh, but I'm so glad I did because it is lovely. So, Moody Mo. Can you see that? Lizzie says she bought it in the sale. Yes, it was a great one. Paul says he has it but not used it. And, um, um, that's a little mauve. So this is light moody mauve. And that is dark blackberry bliss and they go quite nicely together and just add an even darker shade to the flowers oh heather me too he says uh i love your mum loves crafting too so nice to have that in common it really is it's lovely um, she was uh, FaceTime me earlier and showing me a cool card that she'd been making a 3D like fancy fold. She's like, look at this one. That is very cool. Um, right, let's do in green. I'll just add that to the stems, and then we can cut those out. I probably could have stamped them directly onto the paper but you know um I didn't so let's cut these they would absolutely fit and I'll line them up and show you so you don't have to fussy cut these um I've gone over that edge, so I wanted to cut that off anyway. of these but not past the bottom leaves just take some of that weight out the bottom of that image there. we've got our flowers there we've got them coming out of the typewriter too and um I'll keep an eye on that. That's a strange comment. Right. Um, what else am I going to put on here? Um, so the sentiments are for you. Uh, thank you. Hi. Hello. Obviously, there's a big hello in the set. And uh, there was also, oh, there's these cute little envelopes as well. Let's do some of them in the... Hmm. Hi, Emma. Just left the party. Right. Let's do... Uh, dark 
Moody Move. Light Moody Move, actually. Let's do Light Moody Move all over there. Oh, they are. Seagulls are very chatty tonight, Katie. Yeah, I've got my windows open. So um, it depends. I don't often have the windows open, but when I've got the windows open, yes. Full of beans tonight. If it's annoying, I'll close the window. Um, let's add a bit of shading on here. So I've done light first and then I've added a bit of shading and I'm just going to go back and blend that out a little bit um, with the light. And then if you wanted to, then the dark Blackberry Bliss will give you a really dark shading on the moody move. So that gives even more depth. So those. Um uh, this says it's fun here, this is good. Let's cut those. At least it's not Joshua screaming help in the background. <laughs> I said to him, everyone was because he was playing his video games, I think, last week, and he was on a game. He was like saying to his friend, like, help, help, come over, like, help me. And it just sounded like he was shouting help in the background, and I was ignoring him. And I really wasn't because he was having fun playing his game. But um, yeah, the seagulls is a much more. Um, a pleasant background sound and um him yelping on his games but it was having fun right uh there's um there's a cafe not not too far from us and um they have signs up i'm sure many cafes have this but they have um seagull signs up that say like aggressive seagulls uh, the staff will not be responsible for replacing food that is stolen by seagulls. Guard your food. I <laughs> just think that's hilarious, but it is true. Um, you absolutely cannot leave your plate unattended. They will be there in a second. They will swoop and they will have it and it, it is gone. So, um, yeah, you have to kind of guard your food while you're not not eating. <laughs> I understand you put coffee before your son. You're so funny. Um, right, let's put a few of those kind of scattered, and I think we're almost done with this card. A few sparkles and a bit of twine, and I think we're nearly there. Maybe a sentiment to say hi would be cool. Um, let's pull that up a little further as we've made that a bit longer, and I'm gonna put the hi. In the top corner of that. I think we're done. Right, let's do. So we've got these little notchy bits here that we can put our mini dimensionals on. They fit perfectly. So we'll get them going across the bar at the top. And then some bigger dimensionals. And then we can glue that down. Let's grab some glue. So I know we're covering quite a bit of this, but it's nice that it just kind of peeks out. I'm not worried that I'm covering. It's nice, but the idea is that it will peek out from behind. 
And then just a bit of glue on the bottom of those flowers and then they can sit coming out of the typewriter. And then we've got these extra little letters just to scatter. To pull the kind of colours together. Oh, that envelope's upside down. I'm sure it doesn't really matter, but there. And um ah Jen, did you get it in the sale? It's so cool, isn't it? Um or did you just purchase it because you knew you knew it was lovely? Right, let me find some gems. We need some purple gems. I could colour up actually. Um Go pool party, you could go iridescent gems, could go pool party. That would be nice. Or we could go more purpley. I think I'm gonna go. I think we'll go pool party. Rather than purpley. We have some bigger ones and some little ones. Let me have that hiding there. That's probably enough, actually, with the three. <clears throat> there. I ordered it the day before the sale. Oh, typical. Mm. You'll be glad you've got it, though. It's gorgeous. Right, let's put that on to... Um, should we do pool party? Pool party background. Ooh. Pool party background would be nice, won't it? Let's do that. I've got all my spare typewriters. Let's put them out of the way. Put that out of the way. Oh, they are being noisy. Noisy, noisy. Um, put that on there. Uh, we'll glue that down and then let's have a little. I like that with the green. A bit different. Not a colour. Thank you, Hazel. Um, not a colour I would have reached for, I don't think. It would have been the Walker Oasis, but the purples and the greens work well, I think. Uh, I've got ink all over my fingers. I'm not sure how I've managed that because probably from the chamois, actually. There we go. Card one done. Done, 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 done. And I've got very inky fingers. Have that hand, nothing. Definitely the chamois, isn't it? What a mess! It's most unusual for me, to be fair. I, unless I'm doing something particularly inky and messy, I usually don't get too inky on my hands. Um, but um, yeah. Right, let's do another card. Let's make another one. Uh, yeah, they're coming for some food. They are. They're coming for their their snack, their evening snack. I've laid a couple of doors down that feeds them, so they know they get good feeding here. Which is, um, I don't mind feeding like the little hedgehogs and things, but. Feeding the seagulls a little, a little annoying. Hand sanitizer, that's a good idea, Paul. Very good idea. I'll get to my desk. I'll do it later. Right, card number two. What should we do now? So, I had, as I say, I was flicking back through my Instagram for some inspiration before I came on live. And I thought, one of these cards, I will share. If I share these cards, I'll share the case of this um i thought um creating 
cloth is filthy. So why my hands are getting dirty? Right, grey. Uh, grey, grey, grey. So smoky slate. And then a bit of colour. <laughs> Mother wanted me to go into an office. So I bought me a portable typewriter in a leather case. I wanted to be a hairdresser. Uh, see, you could have cut my hair. Your ambition to be a hairdresser, you would have been fine. I've got a good pair of snips. You'd have been fine. I'd have had nothing to worry about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Let's do. Let's see. I wanted to do a random kind of. Let's stamp this all over the background, kind of stamping with the typewriter in the grey, and then. It to be too lined up, but kind of the shape of it lends itself to that. Unfortunately, let's see if we can get that coming in there. You don't want it overlapping loads. Right. Uh, which looks cool. Love that. And then with a pop of colour um, down the side. So um, we can do this in watercolour or blends, but I'm going to do blends, I think. So um, let me. So we'll go gorgeous grape, I think. Mm, so very dark blackberry bliss, blackberry bliss, berry burst. Um, and I wonder if we go coral and coral. Let's see how this goes. So I'm going with. Blackberry Bliss, Berry Burst, Calypso Coral and Daffodil Delight. Let's see how this goes. Um, we want a blend of those going up the cart. Um, let me just make something very noisy now. I'm going to... <laughs> Jonah says, now I've got your attention. <laughs> That was the cut. Look at the colours. Look at the pretty colours. <laughs> uh, let's, let's see how this blends. So we're going to just, this is just a scrap piece of white at this point. So um, First, mm. oh, let's go. Dark berry burst. Just going to blend that back. Right, coral. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be okay. Right, we'll go coral. So we'll go dark coral, light coral. And berry burst. What's the one? Light berry burst. So just blend that into the coral. And likewise, the coral back into the very best. And hey, Jenny. And then Daffodil Delight. So we're going to go Dark Daffodil Delight. And 
the light coral and blend that into the daffodil and light daffodil delight. So there you go, that's one colourway. Let's do another colourway. So if we do the purples and then we'll do into maybe to it might be too many colours at this point and then lemon lime. Might need to see how we go with the blues, but there's a blue combination there as well. So let me just grab the scrap of these. So we can do the same kind of method working with these ones. Uh, that is dark black rebliss, which is on its way out. <laughs> it's nearly. These are, and then Berry Burst, which is newer. Uh, Azure, let's see how this, as <laughs> internet says, I'm excited now. Uh, that's, uh, oh my goodness, blue. Right. This is a bit harder to blend, but we're gonna we'll we'll work it. So we're gonna go light very burst blue. That's okay. Good with that. So uh, we'll carry on up with the light azure and then some Tahitian. This is just fun all by itself, just blending all the colours together. I mean, like, how cool is that? That's going to be um, awesome to die cut and stuff, wouldn't it, if you, if you were die cutting? Any kind of a play with the colours. Let me come back with, oh, that's got some weird ink on it. I, what have I done with that? That's gone into something else. Oh. Some dark colour on it. I think it's okay though. I think we'll get away with it. Right, green. Like the look, they're fun, aren't they? And then the green. This is lemon lime twist and light lemon lime twist. So come so we don't get a harsh line there. We can just keep blending back with the original colour. So you get kind of a mix of the two together. Right, that's a lot of blend. <laughs> Look at that, pretty, pretty. Um, okay, so the plan was to keep this card fairly simple in that I'm going to do another grey. Now we've got two backgrounds. Got two of them, I'm going to make two of these and we might get two, we'll get two for one then. So we're going to do a uh, typewriter. In a smoky slate. Oh, I've left quite a big gap there. I'm gonna I'm gonna over stamp that one. Otherwise there'd be too big a piece of white. So I'm gonna stop that. There. So we've got our typewriter on the background. We could add some letters as well, couldn't we? We could do. Order. Maybe 
maybe add that for some extra texture. I might do it on one, but not the other. See which one we like best. Okay, so I've got some letters on that one. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to simply slice this. I'm not going to do anything super fancy with this, but I'm going to slice this so that we've got a border piece, which is why I was just kind of doing it on a scrap. Don't necessarily have to cut off that. Yeah. How cool is that? Gonna take that little edge off. Look at that. So good. Love colours. Fun, fun, fun. So rainbows. So rainbows. Beautiful, beautiful blends. Right, let's grab. A white base. So if we do a white base for both, we can make both at once. And I know I mentioned them last time, but if you haven't seen, there are if you need a new score blade for your trimmer, score blades are now on the online exclusives in packs of two. So if you need a new score blade for your trimmer, um, they are now available. Uh, on the online so i'm going to cut mm, three quarters of an inch off that piece and that will allow me do both cards at once can you see if i layer them up so that will then allow i'm going to trim that properly cut that down on that side and then that can sit there and then we can do the same with this piece that is already at the right height and then three quarters of an inch I'm going to take off that piece there we've got grey uh, right, so yay, ordered my new blade trimmer. Definitely needs one. To, yeah. Mm. Thank you, Hazel. Hazel has kindly put the code in the chat, should you need it, for the UK. It is, um, I'm pretty sure it's the same code, actually, but different different price will come up. But um, thank you. I'm going to pop that on there. And then we can pop that up on dimensionals. So you can do lots of fun things if you die cut those, but I love just seeing it all together. And um, I think sometimes we use just the individual packets of blends and we'll colour with the Daffodil Delight or we'll colour with the Calypso Coral. And actually seeing them blend together and playing like that on that, piece of paper might make you then kind of feel more confident in blending different colors when you're coloring images as well seeing how nicely like berry burst blends into calypso coral or that you've got those kind of together or oh, that nearly went upside down let me pop that on there that one, and then we'll glue this one down i love that so gorgeous totally inspired as i say i'll put the card up it is an almost identical case of cards i made um some time ago but using some pre-rainbowed paper rainbowed is that a word pre-rainbowed um, <laughs> um it is now um some rainbow glimmer paper that we had from from stampin up and um i've just followed those colours so um, if 
you've got some of that paper in your stash, you might feel like you can dig it, dig it out and make use of it. Or if you don't have some, then using the blends is a great way to get those fun backgrounds. Maybe it's a lush. So beautiful. Look at that. Just come out so nice, don't they? The blends are fab. Right, let's put that on there. You want to see plenty of that. You don't want that hidden on the card, do you? You don't want that to be out of sight. So I've got two of them. Now we just need something on there to make it a little bit more finished. Um, on the original that I was casing, there was just um, some black and white sentiments. We could do something like that. I hope your day is filled with sunshine and rainbows. It's going to be the perfect sentiment with the rainbows on there, isn't it? So shall we heat emboss them on black and then we can cut them out? I think that... Um, Joanna says, I've still got some of that rainbow paper. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, let's use that black piece. Uh, sometimes, like, big, bold patterns like that can be tricky to sort of know what to do. You know, what do you do with it? It's gorgeous paper, and you look at it, and you think, how beautiful is that paper? But then what do you do with it? Do you... Do you cut into it? Do you use a whole background? So just by using little strips of it like that um, means you can chop into it a bit more, can't we? So, right, first of all, where are you? Here. Bum, bum, bum. I hope your day is filled with strength. So when I'm heat embossing, I like to do more than I might need for my card, especially when I'm doing the black with the white because I know I'll use them. So I'm only going to need a couple, but I've done four. And especially I've got my heat embossing stuff on hand. Um, I'm lucky to have it within reach. My heat gun is plugged in and on my desk all the time. Um, but if yours isn't and it's in a box of embossing stuff or you've got to go and make an effort to get it out or you've got to plug it in somewhere else, sometimes it's a bit of an effort. So um, if you heat a few at once, then the effort is kind of, it's worth the effort, isn't it? You can do a few and then have them in a little stash to use. Um, Right, let's just get rid of some of that excess. Oh, yeah, oh, indeed. Go into a different craft room, Hazel, indeed. Go into the embossing room. <laughs> uh, just use a dry brush and knock some of those with black. I do always make sure I use the anti-static embossing buddy, but sometimes... There's just a few flecks and a dry paintbrush will knock them out of the way. Right, let's heat these up. embossing you want to see it go glossy and you don't want to waggle your heat gun you want to just make sure you go slowly but don't hot once it's gone glossy don't hold it on there too long otherwise you'll burn it um so you want to make sure it's melted but then not burnt so slow and steady Magic, magic. Uh, let's just roughly chop. 
chop those out. Now, I think they're too big, perhaps, for keeping as one. Don't know. Maybe not. Let's see. I'll cut this one down and see. But I'm tempted to cut it into strips and do each line separately. sunshine and rainbows we can kind of stagger that a little bit ah, one and I wonder if we do this one definitely need some sparkles on this don't we I know Lizzie, who's watching, definitely is like, we're, we're waiting for the sparkles. All right. And that one was a little bit of squint at the top there. Now, I'm going to do that one there. I'm going to do that on a little... Um, I don't think it needs to be popped up, actually. I was going to put it on... I was going to put it on... Um, dimensionals, but I'm not sure that it needs to. Rainbows. I like it like that. And it's got like a slight overhang over the... edge I like it being at the top as well actually I know Jen's that I'm waiting for some metallic trim or something I know I had some metallic trim on the case one but I was kind of able to put it behind I wonder oh don't lift the sentiment off you've just glued it down where can we put some trim can we maybe get a I wonder if we can get like a little knot or something up around the edge. Let's have a little look, see. Uh, this is have a little bit of sparkle. And that, that's quite nice, isn't it? That trim. Uh, I wonder if we could, is that going to be too much? Oh, excuse me. I'm sneezing. I'm hoping I caught the mute button in time. <laughs> I'm not sure if it worked, though. Right, let's grab that. Let's see if that will tie. It might be the bow might be too big at the top. Let's see. Might need to put the bow underneath here. Oop. Sparkly, sparkly ribbon, isn't it? Sparkly, sparkly. This comes in a double pack, so you get the silver and the gold. It's an online exclusive ribbon, so if you're looking through your catalogue thinking, I haven't seen that ribbon, um, it's an online exclusive ribbon, and it will be perfect for, dare I say, the Christmas. Christmas, good for Christmas. Um, is it too soon? 
too soon. I know people have Christmas in July, card making things and stuff, but it's, it feels too early. It feels too early. Right. Uh, let's make that up. I've said it before, I like a bit of panic crafting in November. It feels it feels like it adds to the Christmas spirit. <laughs> uh, right, let's put a little glue dot underneath that because that will hold it in place. And I'm going to use my... Ah, oh, it worked. Thank you, Hazel. Uh, let's put a little glue dot underneath there just to hold that in place. And now we can add some extra sparkles. I think it's got to be um, rhinestones, hasn't it? It's got to be, surely. Surely, surely it is rhinestones that's got to go on there. Silver, silver rhinestones. Let's go. Let's pull that a little bit shorter. There we go. That's one. Should we put the gold trim on this one? Do you think the gold will go? Do the gold or the other ribbon we could have put on. What do you reckon? The gold with the yeah, we could do the gold. I don't know, with the grey, maybe not. The smoky slate. We could do um just a bit of silver doodah you do have if i thought about it i could have put that ribbon around this panel before i stuck it on but i hadn't thought about it so it's inside the card but i think it adds you know it adds something doesn't it let's do a little loopy round this is how i had it on my original a little loopy loop of this simply elegant trim so what we could do is tape that on to the back of there. Let's loop that. Loop, loop, loop. And that way. Oh my goodness. There, I guess. And then just about the width of that tape. Oh my goodness. That just just fits behind there it's filled with sunshine i'm going to put that up on dimensionals i think and rainbows quite like that let's put a few dimensionals along there and do you know what i'm going to take that sticky because that will help stick that in place and then we can put a few of our dimensionals along here it just helps that thread then not feel so lumpy on the card and put that in the middle oops when I get all particular about the thread sitting right <laughs> with uh, sunshine and rainbows. That on. Step away from the twine. <laughs> yeah, no twine. We don't need twine. Let's see if we can get that to sit. Just leave it be. Leave it be. Right, we'll leave that twine. It's sitting nicely now. Okay, I have stepped away. Right, let's put some sparkles on there. We're going to do some more. It's got, it's got to be good old rhinestones. I know we have fabulous, 
fabulous gems and sparkles and new sparkles that come along i just rhinestones are sometimes exactly what a card needs rather than anything too fancy right there we go we have those two we've made three cards and it's only 20 to 10 which is not bad going at all let me bring in the other one that i made so complete cases of this of cards i've previously made and sometimes we just need to look back and like refresh stamp sets with things we've already made we don't always have to make new 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 designs but um just refresh with different stamp sets and things like that so um let me uh, nope that's the one i was looking for <laughs> let me share the cards that was far too close up um let's share the cards uh with you so there's those two. Oh, thanks judy um, did you have a lovely week, Judy? Did you have a lovely week with um, Jenny? I hope you did. Um, uh, lovely. It's on my set. For, it's on your list for August. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mum, mum's, mum's uh, fault initially, and I just helped helped you along. Pop that on your list. There you go. So this one was uh, Granny Apple Shaded Spruce, and then um, Moody Mauve and Blackberry list and then these were all sorts of colors and i'm not going to list them out now so but i shall take some um proper photos of them and share them as always on my blog or on my socials um and um yeah thank you for joining me as always so i'm glad you have enjoyed them thank you for commenting along whether you're on facebook or youtube and thank you for joining on the replay um, I hope you all have a wonderful week, whatever you are up to. Um, for demonstrators among us, I hope you enjoy Wednesday evening. I know I will. We've got a sneak peek of the mini catalogue coming. So um, we get first eyes on that on Wednesday evening um, uh, this week coming. So I am excited for that to see what's coming our way for um, autumn and Christmas crafting. Um, and um, that catalogue goes live in September. So um, a little while to wait for for product, but otherwise um, I shall see you um, next Sunday. Have a wonderful week, everyone, and I will see you then. Take care for now. Bye.